Do you want to know what the greatest feeling is when playing Tekken ranked online? Well, it's quite simple. When you get somebody so frustrated that they unplug. When they quit. Because it just sends that message that you were better than them as you run up the rank. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 7 of Tekken Tuesday. It's T.G.'s Yard. Back with another Tekken Tuesday. Now, as you can see, I'm in the replay screen. That's because, unfortunately, my computer uh, went down when a fuse blew. So, unfortunately, this video is going to have to be lived through replay. Unfortunately, I don't have all the matches here for you because I had two people quit on me. Um, uh, as you can see, I, I I battled through pretty well. Promoted twice, so slight spoilers. But how I got there, though, that's that's the real that's the real situation. Get ready for the next battle. So the first match on here is the mirror match. This is actually my second match. Um, yeah, because the first guy started winning two to one. I perfect him in the third round, and he just quit. So then we got this guy thinking he could be a Lars player, and I completely waxed. There was no practice for this video. I didn't want to do practice. I just went straight grind mode and I promise you, they're 10 times better than what I've been doing for the past two weeks and then the practice before I start a video. And I'm not gonna lie, that last little kick had me scared a bit. But I did what I had to do. Shout out to him. He may not be the best Lars player that we've come across, but I seen all the combos that he tried to put together on me, and he was definitely using the arch. It's just that I was better at it. He knew how to dodge that one though. But I got him up out of here. And unfortunately for him, that was it, because he also just quit on me. One and done. Who knew? On to the next. Get ready for the next battle. Now this one I was kind of concerned with. Just due to the fact of the Tekken prowess. Was, there's a big gap and you already know how that goes. Or how it's been going. I'm not gonna lie, on this one I'm about to go in because Chicken Surfer is one of the worst defenders, just like a lot of other people online. Just constantly get trying to get the same combo off because they know it goes for crazy damage trying to get that juggle more. I'm not gonna lie, it's annoying hearing the same cues, the same grunts, the same swishes every time something's executed. You'll see it. Same, same five moves. All three matches from Chicken Server. Same five moves. I don't know what she had going on, but it was long. And that one little leg move. You see how much health that takes out? Insane. I see why, why she did it. It's just like you ain't got no other moves in your arsenal. That's cool. It's making me angry. I had to piece her up. Already around three, two, zero. Oh. I, w I was on a roll today. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, I, I was that guy. 
but outside of my rent real quick shout outs to Capcom because uh they've they've made beating people up and getting beat up just looks so good the animations on this thing is crazy customization insane it's the colors the graphics everything looks phenomenal so shout outs to them but back to it chicken surfer same few moves and it's it's knocking my health bar crazy because I'm, I'm i'm trying to learn fighting this character it's the first time i've i've fought and at least on the, on the channel two levels higher than me but uh the more you keep getting hit with the same thing the more you keep getting the same cues you start to figure it out you also start to figure out when they're trying to strike and that's what just happened right there a knee counter into a silent entry got them combos off so i win the first match now i'm not going to completely take it away from chickens over here um they had a game plan they stuck to it i usually stick to my silent entry game plan so it's not a uh, it's not unheard of however it was the same two three power moves and as you can see how much health is taken off i'm at least trying to put the combos together i'm at the point i, I definitely know i know all the basic lars alexanderson combos and we're putting them together i got some spacing techniques I mean, I, I was on the one today, as you'll see. My launch into the juggle. I love that kick. The leg sweeps. The leg sweeps definitely help just knock health off of your opponents. I'm just starting to learn that. You know, in Street Fighter, it's definitely the uppercut. In most fighting games, it's the uppercut. But the leg sweep really is is, is underrated damage. As you can see right there, I, I have most of I have most of her moves downloaded because she was doing all of it first, all first match, and all this match. But this rage art was caught beautifully. Once again, getting made beat up looks so good. Insane slow mo. I just didn't get far enough, and I knew it. But she's boosting forward with a with a, 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 a right hook. I mean a right straight. Insane. First time I've been able to pull that grab off in a while, I was so proud. Unfortunately though. I got too greedy there, and an arm cannon shoots me out of the second match. So in this third match, uh, precision striking was definitely uh, my game plan, because I already knew the holes in the defense. I knew what attacks were coming. At that point, it was just a matter of not getting hit by them, which... I mean, you know, always sounds like a simple task, but it's never that easy. And I should have known. Once a rage artist, always a rage artist. It just takes so much off your health. But shout outs to me for getting that first win. Getting taunted mid-match is insane. Once again, that leg kick doing crazy damage. And getting beat up off on the wall is crazy.
And unfortunately right there I just didn't strike fast enough. Like, do y'all see the damage, though? Now I'm pretty sure the reason why they do best out of three and a best out of five in each match is simply because they know there are certain people that will try to win by any means necessary with the power all the power moves at one time all the cheesiest moves grappling you all day long like i get it that doesn't make it any less annoying to try a battle against and by far the worst offender is anybody using the one tap combos just smacking y to get a air combo is insane if you didn't take the time to button mash enough to figure out what you were doing to learn them combos, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve that win. Now I on the other hand don't button mash because I knew most of my combos from Tekken 7. I had to work in the heat signature uh, situation and now I got that down. So I'm on fire. Once again, we back at it for sure. And I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't rocking with Chicken Surfer no more, so I had to get her up out of here. So that's now technically three, but you've only seen two wins on the day. Get ready for the next battle. Now this is also a sad one because, as you can see, once again, being an assailant, going up against a vanquisher, a lot of tough competition. Round one, fight. Damn, man, I was definitely trying to uh, fight night me, but I wasn't really having it too much. I do believe I did lose this match, but we rematched and uh, I won. I will confirm that by showing you that I did get promoted after playing them. Unfortunately, I don't have that match because, uh, once again, that's when the uh, recording fried and the file got corrupted. So, unfortunately, I do not have. Just like I don't have the other guy quitting on me uh, three, mat three rounds in. This is insane here because... Um, I don't know how he got the ground to break, but he obviously got a free double, so that helped him uh, get a hit in this round very, fairly easy. But once again, trying to fight Night Me with Steve, like it's cool. However, when he's really not putting Steve's combos together, it, it's not doing him any favors. But like I said, that free juggle definitely got him uh, ahead on that round. Now we all know we fought enough Steves. I pretty much have his offense downloaded for sure. They all definitely uh, play the same. Uh, it's not really a lot of variety. And once again, from people just spamming the same moves 24-7, you, you know the cues. So when I hear him say certain words, I just know the block. I'm not even going to try to take any offense. And I was just picking my spots. And once again, that flipping stomp or flip grab, excellent space closer for sure. Does massive amounts of damage, but you cannot always pull that out. Because usually, most times I get caught on the launch. And that right there is a perfect example of how you fold a 2-1 lead by not finishing your juggling. 
missing the inputs. It's just getting too excited. That was an excellent use of uh, the heat button. Because if I would have landed that quick, I'm telling you, he would have been like at an inch of himself. Now missing all those grabs. Yeah, he was he was going straight to my body. And that grab was just well timed. There's not much you could do about that. So I did lose here. However, once again, with this little gap, it shows you I did end up uh, beating him. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, recording. I can't show you, but I can show you me beating uh, Phantom King here. Get ready for the next battle. Once again, getting promoted and a huge gap in between me and my opponent which is why I'm saying I was definitely back at this point in time because even though you get caught in a round or two it doesn't dictate the match now you see my office has changed further proving that um, the fuse fried my PC for a little bit so none of my customizations were saved um, all of the on screen uh, aesthetics that I applied to my character, uh, name tag, and all that just wasn't there. But I was under the impression that I had those other two matches recorded, so I was like, well, this is my fifth match. I'll give y'all a win and I can wrap it up and go home. That unfortunately was not the case. A solid perfect round and that just goes to show you that uh, my skill set is improving day by day with no practice she was she was definitely giving me with that toe stomp I just wasn't blocking it but I wasn't too familiar with the animation yet so I was letting it slide a little bit but Unfortunately, to my detriment. Also, that grab uh, was not expecting it. And was not expecting a UFC takedown, so it was a bit insane. Now that's one thing I'm going to have to figure out eventually is how to get a uh, <laughs> leg combo started off. So once I can get one of those, oh I'll be the most dangerous man on this game by far. New combo right there. And if I were to hit it fully. A lot more damage would have been taken off. So yeah, and I know in these blocking instances, a lot of people just kind of keep throwing out the combos, hoping that you'll try to get greedy at some point. Not me. Definitely patient. Especially knowing that I got the counter knee. Once I know you're about to go for something crazy. It's nothing more satisfying seeing the uh, choke animation execute. So I kind of got a feel for the way Phantom King played a bit. Also didn't realize that Grab did that much damage. I was just getting caught unfortunately. Um, yeah, perfect for a frown. Help me realize uh, everything I needed. But once again, best way to pull the lead, don't follow up on your juggles. Because 9.5 times out of 10 in Tekken, your opponent's going to follow up on theirs and then some. And then beat you on the ground while you're down. And make sure while you're up against the wall, they're just going to continue to punish you.
Got too greedy there. Got greedy there as well. Caught her though. Bringing that a lot closer. And she was definitely not expecting that. Once again, very nice to glow space. I'm not gonna lie though, I think Phantom King is the first person that I've seen that blocks that low strike after the uh, silent entries uh, side view. But a perfect end this one sent Phantom King packing and once again my stock is rising. Get ready for the next battle. So now in this fight with Lobster Man, being on the infamous arena, I definitely felt like I was risking it trying to get to, uh, another win after I realized that I was missing another match. So it didn't make five for me, five wins. This one was uh, kind of wild because I had never played a Raven before and it definitely felt like he uh, was solid with that move set. And it was just really powerful. Like the kicks, the strikes, falling for the shadows. Insane. Plus, you know, you always gotta take a look at the Tekken prowess. But as I say all the time, all that means is that they've been playing longer than I have, or more than I have, to get up there online wise. Once again, not following up with your combos. Anytime you miss a juggle, just know that's probably a round loss for you. So yeah, going down 2-0 here. Didn't have uh, the most confidence that I was going to come out with a dub in this match. Then was trying to figure out why I just did not end it. But you know, I'm I'm trying to keep the integrity of this series up by going off with win, going off with a win. Couldn't execute my new combo. Couldn't really grab him. So I wasn't sure what type of offense I needed here. But continuing to dive deep into the bag and pulling out new moves was uh just a forte right now. enough to get a win right there yeah I'm also starting to learn when people charge up <laughs> but they don't really hit you yet a leg kick is coming I just haven't played everybody enough to know what that looks like <laughs> for each animation nice catch right there though And the other great thing about the uh, flipping stomp is that it switches uh, your positioning back from left to right, which is also a game changer because not a lot of people memorize their movesets uh, inverse. So it's definitely a strategy to throw your opponent off if they don't play on their right side or left side. I was getting thirsty at that point, so he definitely caught me here. Uh, but within the final round, I feel like I, I, I saw everything I could from Lobster Man. Enough to know that I actually had a genuine chance of winning here. I just couldn't keep getting caught with his grabs. I'm telling you, I was on one today. So now this match right here, I was super amped up with the fact that uh, that Tekken prowess definitely didn't mean anything to me at this point. And I was ready to prove why. Because uh, promotion match, you know how I was feeling. I was trying to pull out everything. Just definitely trying to wax Lobster Man and get him up out of here.
and get him up out here. I did in that first round. That was that was a good looking move. Just didn't do that much damage. So this was something that I did pick up from Lobster Man though. Grabbing somebody in the middle of a combo is truly the only way to stop from really getting beat down and or juggled. Which is now why I'm understanding everybody starts off with launchers. Because after you're launched up in the air and you start getting juggled, there's not really much you could do. So I was like, okay. I can start carrying that into my moveset now. It's the intangible things. Certain things that you just don't know. But. I wasn't trying to grab onto him too much because he was showing me in the first match. That he had the grab game on lock. I think he reversed all of mine, but I kept getting caught with it. And here, it was just very simple. Precision striking that led to the promotion. Get ready for the next battle. And then just thirsty just to make sure I didn't have a fluke. And I actually ended with the white help. I decided to play one more match. And coincidentally enough, it was against the Blacked Out Dragon Arm. Which is pretty fitting, seeing how this is one of my secondary characters. And we've already beaten one of my secondary characters in Fink. Glad to know I'm making the right choice. Uh, I didn't really get a sense of Motivate's offense too much, simply because he wasn't really landing a whole lot on me. And even though it does say he's playing on console, I definitely felt like uh, that keyboard was uh, plugged in. Now, once again, what I took from Lobster Man was simple. Really before they could execute... Uh, their combos I was definitely looking for the grab here and motivate was not blocking any grabs so that just added to the repertoire on top of the combos that I got in store for him also I'm starting to pick up different patterns I noticed there's a lot of times where in one of my combos I always get interrupted right before the big launch and I'm starting to see that in some other characters' uh, movesets. Not all of them, but some of them. And here was a simple three and out. So I was definitely over the moon with that last one because it was a simple three and out. As you know, the last two videos have not been uh, fantastic here on Tekken Tuesdays. But this one, we was back to form for real, for real. I mean, two promotions in one video, fantastic. So I definitely played better defense in the first match, clearly, uh, because my health bar did not get that low. It's crazy because a lot of opponents will try to space so that you don't hit them off with that heat signature. However, it's not something I've been afraid of. I probably should start uh, due to the fact that it does take off so much. But I'm just learning my moveset and I'm realizing I got a lot of powerful moves. Specifically the knee counter and the flip stomp or flip grab. And I know, that's not what it's called. But that's what I'm calling it. Uh, let me live. 
I got caught there. Simple as that. Got caught once again. So Motivate definitely had the uh, game plan there because he was not trying to get three and out. I fully understand. Because uh, once you get three and out, it's pretty humiliating. You really just sit there like, well, there's nothing else I could do. Better luck next time. And this is what I'm saying. Let your opponent get a chance to juggle you. They will do everything in their power to. So don't. Yep, I've been grabbed enough at this point to know that uh, I didn't want it to happen again. He was taking entirely too much health off, and I just wanted to put it away. So shout outs to me. This is how it ended, ladies and gentlemen. And that was Tekken Tuesday. Real smooth, real simple. I'm sorry you didn't get any live feed. This is all post commentary, but I think this is a smoother video. Cause I didn't have to give y'all all that art. Um, point blank and simple. Come back next Tuesday. But stop by the channel this Saturday. It'll be the first episode of the Open Fence Podcast. It's been the one and only, the man, the myth, the great, Will TG, baby. We'll see you later. Click on another video.